Wisconsin's James Bond becomes first openly LGBTQ plus state cabinet member. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers has appointed James Bond to serve as Secretary of Department of Veterans Affairs, making him the first openly LGBTQ plus person to lead one of the state's cabinet agencies. Bond is a disabled veteran who served in the United States Marine Corps from 1983 to 1988. Bond, who lives in Madison with his husband and two sons, said, quote, I'd like to thank Governor Evers for his incredible honor. I have built a career in service, service to my country, the state of Wisconsin, and to fellow veterans. As Secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs, I will continue in this vein and work with veteran advocates across 72 counties and 11 tribal nations to deliver benefits and services veterans have earned, tell their stories, and honor their contributions. Together, we will forge a better future for all Wisconsin veterans and their families." End quote. Can we talk about that name? That is so <laughs> badass. Uh, I didn't know that James, I didn't know that James, James Bond, Bond. 007 was uh, was openly LGBTQ. I knew the next James Bond was going to be black. I knew it. And look, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as we make those jokes, don't you wonder, don't you wish he could be sitting here at the table and we ask him, how many times is that joke? Yes. A day. Like Happened a day. I doubt we're original. And, 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 you, yeah. and you know where he identifies on LGBTQ? Uh oh, here it comes. Q. Q. Okay, get it? <laughs> Q I got it. From, uh -huh. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, we uh -huh. got it. You know the the most interesting thing to me about this story. Um, I, I look forward to the day where somebody gets appointed or uh, gets elected for something that uh, they're in LGBTQ, and everybody goes, "Yeah, what's the big deal?" Mm -hmm. I really do, honestly, look forward to that day. No, we're not there. We're not there yet. <laughs> you and I will be long <laughs> retired. Yeah. Right? Okay. I mean, the right. black community is every time someone I, is elected, I, it's I, still I, a, I, an anomaly. I know. Um, I agree with you, but I do still long for that. Yeah. But the most interesting thing to me about the story is not him. Congratulations. I'm really happy that you're sitting in this cabinet Bond. level position in the history of it. But what is most interesting to me is it's Wisconsin. Wisconsin was believed to be this purple to red state and that they uh, they were going to be one of the linchpins of the defeat of the Hillary Clinton and everything going forward. Now, we're six years post Hillary Clinton's election and defeat uh, in Wisconsin of Hillary Clinton for Donald Trump. And look what's going on in Wisconsin. Wah, wah. That's what's happening. And what's also interesting to me uh, about that is we have um, a LGBT senator from Wisconsin uh, with this governor who is pro LGBT rights, who for he makes history by appointing this cabinet position of this uh, gay man who is married to another man who has two children. What's really interesting about this story is the other Wisconsin senator originally said, yes, I'm going to support Respect for Marriage Act because it was politically expedient for him to do that in September of 2022. And then when the vote finally came around in December, how did the Wisconsin senator vote? He voted no. So he votes no against the other senator mm -hmm. that might marry and definitely against uh, this new secretary who is married to a man and wants to codify and have his marriage protected, who is going to lead this cabinet post in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. who has two children. What is the future? this cabinet position, that governor, and one of the senators. Who is the past? The moron that voted no on respect. Mm -hmm. And I think marriage. it's I think it's so powerful that we see um, that we've seen uh, in, in a relatively short span of time, what a decade we have gone from uh, don't ask, don't tell to a to a openly gay veteran serving as the the head of Wisconsin's Department of Veterans Affairs. Like that's so 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 powerful. As you know, as a, as a son of a as a son of a veteran in the Air Force, I think that um, you know the you know the the respect that we have for people who serve our country and being able to see someone someone hold that level of respect being openly lgbt i think it's i think it's, it's so powerful you know and 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 i think that's a fantastic point max and one one other last note we're going to go to glenn um uh this may be one of our silver bullets in lgbt this guy who's leading uh this division in terms of his military service uh, call me weak uh, go ahead call me weak uh, let me show you my military service of representing uh, my service to the United States through military service. Uh, he, like Pete Buttigieg, may be the silver bullet against this moronic thinking. Go ahead. Try to suggest I am less than. And now let's look at my record. 
it's really, really hard for a Tucker Carlson to criticize this guy and say, he's un-American, mm -hmm. he's weak, he's feminine. Oh my God, he's a faggot. Very, very hard to do. He may be a silver bullet. We're going to watch you closely in Wisconsin mm -hmm. as we watch at Queer News Tonight, Wisconsin, very, very closely. Congratulations to this governor. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.